Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Hannah Renee and it is so nice to meet you and this is Young Womanhood 101 where we share about healthy lifestyles, self-care, homemaking, and all of the above. So if you like that type of content, make sure to subscribe and today I'm doing a monthly reset routine. If you like this video, I'll do it every month so let me know and I'll share how I reset. So without further ado, let's just jump right on into this video. First things first for this monthly reset is to plan the new month in my planner. I am a paper planner girl, so I use this pretty frequently and I've kind of already started planning everything. Red is church things, green is personal things, blue it's work, black more hangout personal things and that's kind of how I have it laid out here. So what I do at this point is just go through and write in all the days that I know there's something going on off the top of my head or if I know I'm going to be in the office some days, I'll write that in just so I can get a good view of the month as a whole. So we're going to do that and then I'm going to explain what I have on the top of the planner. So I finished that part. I have everything listed in here and now we'll look at the top part. So here's what I have on the top. I have the book that I'm going to read this month which is Love in Other Words, our car savings goal. This is how much we should have at the end of this month. So that is the goal for that and then I'm going to put over on this side a little goal. I use these little pads from Target and I'm going to put a goal here and then I'm going to put rewards. If you've seen my past videos, I am a huge believer that the reward system works. So let me write that down real fast. Here is my goal. I want to crowd out caffeine with water or healthier drinks. I have a caffeine problem because I'll drink something in the morning like coffee and then I'll drink soda at night and just having two caffeine drinks like that in the same day is not the best thing so I want to crowd it out rather than just eliminate it. I think that will make this habit more sustainable for me. My reward for doing that for a week is I have a little pot that is the shape of a turtle and it doesn't have a plant in it so I'm gonna buy a little plant for that guy and then to do this for one month I'm going to get a bigger reward which is curtains for our bedroom. I just want some new curtains so those are my motivations to complete this goal and that is me planning out this month. The next thing I'm gonna do is write all of the tasks for the month. So this is a little bit different than what I just did. I have this section on the side that's a little to-do list right here. So I write projects that I want to complete in the month. Most of the time these are house projects, sometimes they are work projects, things I need to prepare for like traveling, adulting things, scheduling appointments, that all goes here so that I can see it throughout the month and plan when I'm actually going to do it. So we are going to get started with writing this down. Okay, here are the tasks for the month. I want to catch up on my YouTube short posting and make it more of a thing that I do on a regular basis. I want to look into swag bucks, see if it is a way to make money. I don't know. Do taxes, transfer YouTube videos from my Google Drive to my hard drive, build nightstands because those are coming in the mail, 
schedule my OBGYN appointment, you know, the month, not monthly, the yearly one, buy pickleball tournament tickets. That's for Alex's birthday present. That is happening in May, I think. Look into flights to California. We're going to California for wedding in May. Plant seeds for my garden. Clean out our junk drawer. Plan bachelorette for the wedding that we're going to. Look into being monetized on YouTube because I hit a thousand subscribers. Catch up on Pinterest posting. Look into dog breeders and research owning a dog. I just want to learn all the things I need to know about owning a dog. Plant maintenance, just keeping up with that. We have to send back something to Alex, old boss. <laughs> and then um, deep clean our oven. So those are kind of like weird random tasks for the month of February. I actually feel like I was kind of coming up with these. Like it didn't happen naturally. Whereas in January, I had so many things on my mind to come up with. But this month, it didn't seem like there was that much. I feel like we're doing pretty good. We got Valentine's Day planned. We got Alex's birthday planned. So I feel pretty good about setting up for that. So now we'll move on to step three. All right, we are on step three and that is meal planning. So one of the things that I actually do is I go grocery shopping only once a month. And I do a big grocery shop. I've made videos about this before on my Instagram and TikTok about how I go grocery shopping only once a month. So if you want to see those, go on those platforms or I can make a long form one if you'd like. What I do for my big grocery shop once a month is I buy all of our meat, bread, snacks, things for the fridge, all of that I buy right now so i just did that today i should have filmed it but i forgot so i got all that got some fruits veggies and then the only other time i go to the grocery store is to just pick up fruits veggies milk or eggs during the month and that's just if we randomly run out of it so i only do a big grocery shop once a month so now that i've done that and i have a lot of options i'm going to plan my meals in my planner i have a weekly spread here so i'm going to put in green the meal that we're going to eat that day so that i can look at it see it at a glance and be able to prepare my day around that especially if things need more prep than other things so that's what i'm gonna write in here Since I only know what this week looks like, I only plan dinners for this week. So tonight we're having burgers and homemade fries. Tomorrow I have this garlic parmesan pasta recipe I want to try. And then I have red lobster roll mix that I'm going to use. Thursday is baked potatoes. Friday is chicken broccoli rice casserole, another Pinterest recipe. Saturday is Alex's birthday. So we have a friend dinner happening that night. But Sunday we're gonna have tacos so that's kind of how I have all of the meals set up in my planner. Number four step is to plan my content for the whole month and I do this for my personal social medias as well as the content for my job the ones that I run for my job but today I'm just doing personal social medias and how I do this is I first go through my analytics, look at what did well last month, what could have been better, and then I will do some research, see what other people are posting about right now, and then I will go through and plan content. I think this month I'm going to focus more on TikTok than Instagram. I've been more focused on Instagram, but I think TikTok is what I need to work on, so I'm going to be catering my plan towards that and I also plan YouTube videos on there so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna do it for my bed because it's comfy so let's plan my content let's talk about 
about now my favorites for the month or just things that I was doing during the month. So if you don't know, I'm back into reading. I've been back for, I don't know, I got back in probably in 2022. So my first book for the month was The Seven Year Slip. It is by Ashley Poston. This was a five star read for me. So a good way to start the year. I absolutely love this book and I just love the time changes. It's all about this apartment that this girl inherits from her aunt and it has the ability to time travel back seven years in the past and it's a love story. It's cool how the different timelines intertwine. I really liked that concept so this is a great book in my opinion and I loved it. The second book that I read was for work and I'm not gonna share about it because it was for work but it is technically the second book that I read and then this is number three. I read Normal People by Sally Rooney and this was only two stars for me and I know that people kind of love this book or hate this book. I felt like I was in the middle of a plot. There wasn't like a beginning, an intro, and then there wasn't an end either. So it's just like the plot, the main part of the story felt like there were some pieces missing personally and maybe that was the point maybe that is what she wanted it to be about but it's just how these friends are growing up together through high school into college they like each other at some points they hate each other at some points and it's just about friendship romance all that stuff and I just felt like it was missing some things I don't know so I actually read way more than I thought in one month. I was on um, my reading grind. That is what I read. What I watched was How I Met Your Father. I watched that show this month and not as good as How I Met Your Mother, obviously. Most of the time when shows are remade, they're not as good as the originals, but you know, it is what it is. And this one also was incomplete there I think they were supposed to film another season and then they didn't and the way it ended was disappointing because it didn't fully tie up the loose ends you know so that's the show that I watched this month a movie that I watched this month that I've never actually seen but it was so cute and heartfelt was when in Rome and it's a really cute romance and there's nothing like gross or dirty about it it's just a cute romance story and it's funny and I really enjoyed it me and Alec were laughing and having a good time watching a pure rom-com you never really see pure rom-coms anymore there's always gross stuff in it so I appreciate that and that is my media faves for the month and I'm gonna show you one more fave upstairs in my room and I love it. This is my other fave this month. We got this new dresser for my birthday in November and then I finally decorated everything just this month and I think it looks so cute. Most of this is from Target if I'm gonna be honest. I think all of this is from Target except this is from Amazon. Just a cute cozy corner. I have my Bible down there so I use that lamp in the mornings to read my bible over here i just have this little plant i'm pretty sure i got this from a local plant store not sure where the pot's from this picture is from hobby lobby and then i just got a wedding photo printed of us candlesticks hobby lobby and candle holder is target but i just think it is perfect it looks symmetrical it's practical the last thing i need to figure out is this cord for the tv i know that it exists where you can have it wirelessly plugged in up here and then it's also plugged in down there i think if that exists or if there's a better way let me know but i want to deal with that but the dresser itself looks cute and I wanted to share. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel and let me know of any other video ideas you'd like to see from me. Because I love to do this for you. And I'll see you guys whenever I see you next. Bye!